Before this afternoon storms rolled in, some North Texas workers and their customers suffered through one of the hottest days this summer with no air conditioning. Some temperatures climbed into the 90s. Aaron Jones live in Garland tonight. They say this is now weeks into this outage and they just want some answers and some AC and honestly, nobody could blame them. That's right, Doug. They've spent eight weeks, they say, without AC. Today, we spent hours here at Firewheel Town Center, and we saw for ourselves that the AC is out at several of the stores. There are fans that have been brought in, but employees say they provided little relief during the long, hot days. I think right now with all the heat that's been, you know, going on, I mean, just even outside, it's just miserable. Larry LaForce trying to beat the heat at Firewheel Town Center, but says inside these stores, it's just not happening. Like, we were kind of, you know, trying to hurry up so we can get out of there, because, I mean, outside there's a bit more, more of a breeze. Cindy Veltrin cut her shopping trip inside the shoe store short, where even with fans, the temperature is nearing 90 degrees. She worries for their employees, one of whom is pregnant. I heard them speaking how the AC was off for almost nine weeks now. It seemed pretty crazy to me. Some employees who didn't want to speak on camera, fearful they might lose their jobs, tell us they've called maintenance crews multiple times, asking when the air will be back on, but so far have received no official response. Having to work in that is unimaginable. It shouldn't, it's not fair. In a statement to CBS 11, Firewheel Town Center's general manager says, while the AC units are being repaired inside some of our retailers, we have installed multiple cooling units to maintain a comfortable working and shopping atmosphere. Crews have been working tirelessly to resolve this issue. And we also asked when the repairs will be made. We could not get an immediate answer, but a spokesperson says that she's looking into it. Live in Garland, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. It's been a long looking into it so far. Aaron, thank you for the update. Feel for those folks 